Okay, hey guys, hey Ruben, uh, Toby, and Manny. I'm going to be uh, going through uh, the model right now. I'm going to try to keep it brief and to the point. Uh, so let's just get right into it. So first of all, everything is looking really good. I'm going to make the first uh, request that I want is we we got to give this room a little bit more uh, breathing space. So uh, what I'd like to do is take all of this stuff here and let's move it back about this far. Yeah, and then let's have uh, let's just inc let's increase the the floor space that we have. Just we have more uh, more area to work with and to uh, to move our characters around in. So let's let's open it up a little bit. Give us a little bit more space to work with. So definitely we want to open this area over here and give us a little bit of space that we can, you know, have a bit of depth w depending on where we place our camera. Um, so yeah, that's that's number one. Let's move this stuff over here. Uh, number two, I'm taking a look at all these models here. I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Let's look inside. Yeah, we've got some interiors there. That's good. Uh, what else have we got here? This is all looking good. This must be, there must be some deformers on this. That's why it's uh, not showing up. Let's just make sure that uh, all the deformers are killed and our mesh is as uh, final as, as possible. The stove looks good. Happy with that. Countertop looks good. Tiles looks good. This stuff is all looking fabulous. Fridge is looking very good. Just again, a little bit more space here. Watch that your, uh, your mesh normals are pointing in the right direction. We've got some uh, upside down normals here. It's not such a huge deal, but that's fine. I'm seeing a couple of doors on top of each other. I don't... Oh, this Oh, this must be a leftover from like a downloaded asset, so let's get rid of that. Uh, this is looking good, I would say. Um, a small detail, make, make sure that the knob is actually out from the door, something that can actually be grabbed. Uh, these details are very good. That's all looking very good. Uh, I'm happy with this. This is all fine. Uh, one thing, like I like how wonky you've gone with it here. Uh, but let's, uh, what was I say? maybe, maybe uh, slightly less, slightly less. And if we're going to have this sort of tangents here, make sure it's a straight line all the way across. So I would say make this slightly less. And if you're going to have this one wonked, then have this one wonked a bit too. So like, you know, grab everything, put an FFD around all of it. And like, you know, uh, in, in Maya terms, we would just be grabbing a, uh, what are we doing here? A deformer, 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 deformer. Uh, lattice. Let's stick a lattice on it and, uh, you know, just uh, give it one of those, right, with all that mesh selected. Uh, so yeah, if you're going to have this one this one wacky, then have this one a little bit wacky too. Don't have one be perfectly square and one be uh, off uh, crazy like that. And it is, it is a, this is a little too much. This is going into the realm of the insane. Okay, table looks good. This is all looking good. And I'm really feeling like we should not put a mesh smooth on any anything. I like I think having our sharp polygons actually really does fit in with the style of the show. This bowl we might put on, put a, put a, a, a smooth on. Okay, so here's the thing about the geometry. Um, I want to make sure that all of our mesh has a nice uh, grid-like topology because we are going to deform things on a scene-by-scene -scene basis. This, for example, we have some shots where we're going to have lines that come like this and that. I don't know if you can make out what my mouse is doing, but we basically want to bend this into a V, and we're not going to be able to do that unless we have um, uh, unless we have a geometry which has, you know, at least at least this kind of topology. So make sure that the main areas, I will say like the table, yes, uh, the floor doesn't really matter so much, but definitely, you know, this table, let's make sure that we have some topology to work with so that when we do come in there and give this our, our big angular deformation, we have geometry to work with. We can put a divot in the middle of it. We're going to need that to be able to work like that, the table at least. Um, yes, let's make sure that when the model is being finaled, that all of our objects are grouped uh, or how do we say in blender uh, I don't know like make sure make sure that things <clears throat> are grouped together uh, nicely so like for example uh, all the geom oh that that's already grouped maybe all the, ge the geometry that makes up this wall could be put into one group like that so we have one thing to work with when we're you know doing our rig or anti-rig or however we're gonna do it uh, but besides that we are looking pretty good. We do need to have the ceiling done and 
I think I may have neglected to mention, but there is uh, going to be a ceiling fan in this set. There's going to be a ceiling fan in this set. So uh, let's let's slap something in for the ceiling. Uh, the the model of the ceiling fan is done. We're just going to want to bring that in. And what else can I say? Uh, everything else is looking really good. I'm very happy with the work that's been done. I think this is going to work just great. We can go ahead and get this started, uh, get this finaled, and on to shading. We're going to need UVs. We're going to need UVs definitely on at least the large areas. Again, you know, your, your topology here, let's, let's make an effort to um, remember how to do things in Maya. Uh, how do I do this? This is... Uh, like the multi-cut tool, you're gonna you're gonna want to have you know give give it a bit of a little bit of this and that and you know make sure that instead of this uh, triangles everywhere, let's try to grid it grid it up a little bit. Try to try to work with quads when we can. You know, so I'll just give it a big big old big old cut like that. And you know, you if you have tools like this, you can even work like that. You don't necessarily have to. Uh, how do I delete edges in Maya? Uh, it's uh, edit mesh delete. Where is it? I forget how to do things. Mesh tools. What is it? Mesh. Oh man, it's been a while. Um, delete edge. There, there we go. So you know, something more like this would probably be good. Uh, and uh, mesh tools uh, multi cut. Ah, oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? What am I doing? What will I do? Anyway, so something like that. This this kind of topology uh, would be uh, preferable uh, to just triangles everywhere. So try to uh, get something uh, happening uh, more like that. Uh, delete edge. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Just get rid of that, that, and that. You know, this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff will work good. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, we need a, we need more space. Something kind of like this give our set a little room to breathe. We're going to need to scale it up, so bring the man in as a scale reference and make sure that we're working with the right scale. Uh, make sure that we have a grid-like topology on the table. Make sure that our objects, not overly concerned with their naming, but it is important that things be grouped in such a way that makes it easy to work with, especially for Manny, who's going to be taking this uh, to, the, to the home stretch. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to need to have some UVing done for the major areas, especially the walls, the floor. Uh, Got to have UV on that. Probably the table, and then the rest of it. I'm not overly concerned with with it. We will we will go back and work on UVs as it becomes apparent that we need to do it. But don't worry too much about you know UVing every little last detail of the hundreds of models that we have in this. The, the major areas, the major areas that we will most definitely want to paint, which is the floor, the walls, the ceiling and the table. So that's about all I've got. If anything's unclear, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, keep at it. And uh, yeah, it's looking good.